What are you putting your gloves on now? You see one guy over there with a, with a silicon gun. Oh, we've got a bit of a problem, mate. We've got the Highways England in front of us. What was your name, mate? This is what happens behind the scene at Miss Construction. Morning guys, it's Smithy from Mez Construction. I'm gonna give you an insight into my life. What I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis running my construction company. Having 45 to 50 guys on site every day, you know, dealing with all the problems, ensuring that materials are coming in on time to site. It can get hectic at times. Today, I'll show you around and you'll love it guys. So we're just on the way to uh, South London to Crown and Pepper in Croydon. I've got a meeting on site with uh, my customer, Jamin and Rod. We're gonna go over their final fix. So all their main bar, their furniture, get it all allocated with the subcontractors, make sure it all comes in on time. They're looking to get back open in the middle of March, uh, middle of May, sorry. Um, so hopefully we get it all done. Should be an interesting meeting. Hello, mate. Hello, mate, how you doing? Alright? Yeah mate, just thought I'll give you a call. How's day in the life of Mez going? Oh, it's, it's getting alright mate, we're just on the way down to you actually. Got a bit of a problem mate, we've got the Highways England in front of us, slowing down the M25 mate. Oh, oh Yeah. That's alright, I'll be there anyway most of the day. Alright, oh, sweet mate, yeah. I just thought I'd give you the heads up, I'm running a bit late, yeah. but I'll see you in a bit. Here we're at Crown and Pepper in Croydon. 250 square meter ground up extension we've put together over here. Took us around 12 weeks to get the roof on, slab in, block brickwork up, all done. I've had my electricians and plumbers come in. They've run their wires, run the AC units, run the pipes wherever it needs to go. And now we've tacked up, plastered as well. As you can see, the vinyl's down, the flooring's in. I take great care in my floor. You know, customers are spending thousands and thousands of pounds on materials and I do not want my boys to damage it. So whatever it costs me, as you can see, we've covered it all up. I've got a meeting with the customer in a second. He's just on the way down. I'm gonna run over our plans for the next couple of weeks, speak to him about the finishing joinery, the main bar, the furniture, get it all sorted for him. Keep watching. Yeah, now he's just bring the hot and cold around the front. Yeah. And over yeah, here, so the cubicle is going to come anyway, so that's going to sit out there. So see the bar finishes here, for example, cut that last piece so it finishes nicely. Because the issue is, if, it, if, if we have a door here, we should have really built an opening like this. Yeah. You know, like we've done over there for that door. Put a 12 mil tile trim around the side, yeah. because it's so small, isn't it? and you don't really want too much woodwork around the doors as well. We're done now, guys, at Crown and Prepper. Going to head over to one of our other sites in Kenley. Double story rear extension, full refurbishment over there. But we will defo come back over here to take another look once it's all complete. We're doing a double story rear extension at the back and a full refurbishment. Uh, let's go inside and have a look and see what the boys are up to today. Guys, what you see behind me is the double storey rear extension constructed. As you see, the ground floor comes out four and a half metres and the first floor stepped in slightly. The whole first floor sits on a steel frame. If you look right at the top at the pitch roof, that's where the house used to end before. So we bought this all out for our lovely customer. We've been here since November last year. I think a couple more months and we should be done over here. Just follow me for a moment. I'll show you exactly what happens. You see one guy over there with a, with a silicon gun. 
<laughs> and you've got another guy acting busy on his phone like he's talking to a customer. This is what happens behind the scene at Mez Construction, guys. Yeah, supplies are coming in, mate. <laughs> good. Good. You sure he hasn't missed anything? Uh, hopefully not. He tends to forget half the stuff on the list most of the time. <laughs> huh? This is one of the boys from one of our main suppliers, local heating and plumbing. Uh, they're really good, really reliable. This order went in yesterday and it's on site today. What was your name, mate? Charlie. Charlie, this is Charlie, the famous Charlie, guys. Guys, this is um, one of our very famous plumbers, Max. <laughs> yeah, he claims to be really busy all the time, but um, none of our plumbing work seems to fin be doesn't finishing. He doesn't answer the phone. Huh? He doesn't <laughs> answer the phone either. Yeah. Looking good, man. It looks like you put a new pair of jeans on today, you know? Huh? See you later. Oh, sweet. So guys, we're just on the way to our third project of the day, uh, Lodge Road in Croydon. Three new builds ground up that we're putting up for one of our clients. Very good client of ours, uh, gives us a project every year. So um, it's essential that everything goes up as requested, as the plans. Um, yeah, we'll go over there and have a look. All right, mate. All right, mate. What, you putting your gloves on now? <laughs> Just done. starting work now, are you? <laughs> huh? Looks like it's a late start for you, eh? <laughs> Guys, this is the entrance to plot three. Um, the most progressed build out of the three. As you see behind me is the main entrance. The door will come over here. There'll then be an entrance corridor area. To my left, you'll find a home office space. Developers are so keen on having a home office nowadays. So many people working from home, it's essential to have that. We'll now take a walk over to the other side of the property. Over here, you find the kitchen facing onto the front end of the plot in the rear open plan living dining space leading to the back side of the property. Developers are so keen on ensuring there's such a comfortable living space in properties right now. Over here, you'll see the two posts in place for the bifold door, ensuring there's enough light coming in, making the space as big and comfortable as possible. This is plot two. As you can see, plot two is one stage behind on the build to plot three. When you come into the property just below me, on the left hand side will be a washroom. On the right hand side will be a home office area and on the rear side of the property will be a massive open plan kitchen living dining space. This property on completion will be a two bed premises with two bedrooms and two en suites on the first floor. So guys, this is plot one. To my left hand side, you see the main door coming into the property and to the right over here will be the kitchen area with a small dining space as well. Going over to the other side of the property, this will be the open plan living area with a massive bifold door on the front, bringing plenty of light in. This will make this as spacious as possible. Going over to the other side of the property, you have a home office area with a downstairs bathroom and the staircase which will take you up to the first floor. On the first floor will be two bedrooms with two en suites as well, making this a two bedroom build. There you go guys, a day in the life of most construction. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe.